Hi, good evening, and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. My name is Miriam, and tonight I'd like to show you this phenomenal soup that I made at school today with the kids in the cafeteria. They were making this beautiful butternut squash soup. I also made a version of it last night, and I want to show you because it is so delicious. So, the things you're going to need, butternut squash, perfect. And the best part, you don't need to peel it. It's perfect. I have one onion, some of it's already here in, in the pot. I have three large garlic cloves. I'm going to put some basil in it tonight and kale. Now don't turn your nose up at this kale. You will not believe how delicious this soup is. And for my spices and my herbs, I've got sage and rosemary. Just a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of sage. It's going to be delicious. So first of all, I need to get my garlic into the pot. So I've got two cloves here that are already peeled. So it doesn't matter if they're not really tiny because I'm going to puree this soup at the end. So wait until you see this at the end. I'll give you it all together and it'll be absolutely amazing. So here's my gar garlic clove and I hate peeling garlic. And every time I smash it with my knife, I think I'm gonna cut myself. So here's a little trick. Cut off the root end, get rid of that and take one of your small stainless steel bowls and Smash your garlic with the bowl instead of the knife. It's so smart. I'm always thinking I'm going to cut myself. Of course, then, your garlic just pops out or should pop out. And look at that. Beautiful clove of garlic to add to the soup. So in that goes. All right. So that's onion. Here's the rest of my onion. I peeled my onion. Don't worry too much about the size of the onion. You don't want, like, really huge pieces. But chunk it up and put it in. It's all going to saute away here. So I'm just going to turn up my heat a little bit. So onions and garlic, great for sauteing. To this, I'm going to add my herbs now. In goes my sage, in goes my rosemary. You would not believe the difference it makes when you put your aromatics in with your onions to saute and become transparent. It just brings out the flavors of all those beautiful herbs. Salt and pepper can go in later. All right, that's going to cook away. Now, Let's talk about this squash. This is one of the best squashes in the world, I tell you. Just take off the uh, root and the stem end first. And honestly, don't peel it. it. It purees beautifully. I did this at school today. I've done it at home. You don't need to peel it. Uh, you do need to wash it really well, though, because you don't want um, dirt in your soup. So cut it in half. So this half, I'm going to have to core. So there it is. There's the seeds that Carl wants for his, his uh, he wants to bake the seeds. So I'm going to take, take this part out. So just scoop that out with a spoon. Don't worry about it if there's some stuff hanging in. See the way it looks? Don't worry about that, just get rid of the seeds. That pulp will just mush up perfect. So that's the way it looks like, perfect. All right, and this part is easy because all you do with this part is just chunk it. So the way I'm going to do this is, it gets a little easier once the pieces are a little smaller. So just, um, and again, when you're dicing, a flat surface is the easiest surface. So we're going to put in about four cups of squash into this soup. So flatten it out so you don't cut yourself and just make it into nice chunk sized pieces. And I'm going to saute the squash with the onions. So I'm going to carry on and I'm going to cut this all up and it's all going to go in. This will end up being about four cups, maybe five cups of, of butternut squash, but it is going to be so delicious. And it's all going to saute away with the onions before I put my kale and my basil in. So while my squash, my butternut squash is sauteing with my onions and my aromatic rosemary and uh, the, the sage, I'm going to let it, and the garlic of course, I'm going to just kind of let it relax and let it saute. I'm not going to rush this part. Now if you wanted to, while you've got your oven on, you can always roast your butternut squash first before you do this process. Roasted butternut squash soup is excellent, so you could always do that first. 
Now, while this is sautéing away and getting soft with the onions and the garlic and the, and the beautiful herbs, let's talk about the kale. All right, so here's a bunch of the kale that I've got, and this is about already two cups. But I want to show you what you do with the kale. So the thing is, we don't want the stalk. This stalk is really, really um, tough, and you do not want this in your soup. So I just take the kale off, discard this or compost it, and just remove the, the uh, kale all the way up the spine until you get to the very end, until there's none there. And so all this goes into compost and you're ended up with this kale, which is now washed. I've washed it before. And now I'm just going to uh, just slice it ever so unevenly. It doesn't have to be any particular size because once you get it into your soup, it'll wilt. So this, all told, like this is about one cup crushed, right? So one to three cups if you compact it of kale. And I've also got my basil here. And these are beautiful basil leaves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in half my basil now. Same thing with the basil. So see the thing is, is the stems from the kale and the basil come off. You don't want those in your soup. So I'm going to also chop my basil up and I'm going to save half of my basil for the very end. I'm going to throw it in after I dice it. So you've got to stay tuned to figure out how I'm going to finish this soup because it's going to be amazing. So I'll just carry on dicing my kale and I'm now going to get it into my soup. And I'm just going to throw it in and it's going to start to wilt. It's going to be absolutely delicious. After I do that, I'm going to add about 1,200, uh, six cups, 1,200, 1,300 mLs of stock. I'm going to add my stock. I'm going to add my white wine and I'll show you that in a second. So first of all, basil and kale into the soup. So I have all my kale and half of my basil in the pot now and they're ready, it's ready to go. I'm going to deglaze the pot with half a glass, half a cup of, red, of uh, white wine. Half a cup of white wine goes in and you can hear the sizzling. It's going to be delicious so I'm just going to just stir that up ever so slightly. Now we're waiting for the kale to actually wilt inside. So now I'm going to add my stock. So six cups of stock, your stock of your choice. I'm using a vegetarian um, stock, so it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to cover that and just let everything wilt in. And then in about five minutes, I'm going to stir it all up and I'm just going to bring it to the boil and simmer this delicious aromatic soup. Okay, so once it's come to the boil, Notice all your kale has been reduced now. So now it's at the boil. I'm going to turn it down to low and I'm going to let it simmer away now for about 25 minutes until everything is soft. So this is the way it looks when you're kind of in the middle of the whole process. And it smells absolutely divine. I can smell the basil, I can smell the rosemary, I can smell the sage. It's perfect. So I'm going to just let that simmer away now for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes and the soup is now simmering away and it's ready to puree. But before I do that, I just wanna add another little fresh bunch of beautiful aromatic basil because this is gonna be an amazing addition to the soup. So I'm just, um, this is called chiffonade. It's all very tiny. And then I go beyond chiffonade to make it even tinier still. So that's about, like one eighth of a cup of basil into the soup. So give that a stir. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to puree the soup. So I'm just going to turn the soup off. And now I'm going to puree the soup. The thing is you can, you can puree it till it's pure, silk, fine, beautiful, or just a little bit lumpy. It's up to you. Okay. So the soup is pureed. We're just going to get a little ladle here. So the thing to do is two crusts of bread, two of your favorite type of bread on the bottom, and just ladle this gorgeous, phenomenally aromatic soup into the bowl, and it is going to be so delicious. Top with a little bit of the basil that's left over. And there's our soup for tonight. So thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered. This is our kale, butternut squash, and basil soup. So hope you enjoy that.